I'd like to tell you a story about golf and my family and a golf outing, a fun golf outing that inspired me to do a painting. I'm an artist, and this is the painting. It's called Saturday Morning. I come from a golf family. Uh, my father was a natural athlete. Uh, he was a football star. But he could anything with a club or a bat or a racket and a ball, he could just pick it up and play it. And my three brothers, Butch, Skip, and Jack, they all inherited my father's athletic ability. I did not. I'm the artist in the family. But there are my three brothers, uh, Butch, Jack, and Skip, and a couple of my nephews uh, out on the golf course. And if you look in the distance, uh, behind the, the, the man with the yellow baseball cap, that's my brother Skip. If you look behind his head, you can see this little tiny figure off in the distance standing on the green. That's Jay. Jay is one of my brother Jack's friends. And we've known Jay since, you know, he was 10 years old. And he still plays golf with us. And the first time I ever met Jay, I just came home from my first year of college. And there was Jack and Jay and a bunch of their friends down our basement playing penny poker. And they let me play along with them. And here's the family again out on the golf course. You know, with nieces and nephews. Uh, and David there in the blue shirt and the yellow shorts. Uh, he is, uh, he's my brother Skip's son. He's an amazing golfer. I mean, he can really hit the long ball. As well as his brother Billy in the pink shirt uh, with the gray shorts. He's an amazing golfer, too. But, you know, they started when they were kids. Skip had them starting to play golf when they were little kids. So th they're really good. And, you no, know, here's, here's Billy and Brian. And, and there's Billy's little child. And, you know, of course, as soon as he can walk, they put a golf club in his hands. And I'm sure he's going to be a great golfer someday, too. And so here we all are for our family golf outing, annual family golf outing at my brother Butchie's house. And he, he, I mean, he lives likes to live on the golf course, on the golf course itself. Uh, there's my brother Butch. And so we come down there for the family golf outing. And we play golf Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You know, we arrive Thursday night. Uh, and then when we play golf on Friday morning, it's like they, they play like four rounds. Like, you know, there's, what, 36 holes. And so... At the end of the day, we're really wiped out. And so we're sitting around on this Friday evening, drinking beer, eating pizza, totally wiped out, when Butchie says, all right, everybody grab a nine iron and come on outside. And we come outside, it's pitch dark. It's like about 8 o'clock at night. And so he leads us down this path in, from his backyard to this par 3. And he's got the, the, the tee box all lit up with a couple of spotlights. He has lined the green with these little glowy sticks. And he hands us each a ball and tells us that the object of this night golf is to see how close to the pin you can get with one shot. And these balls are special golf balls in that they, they light up when you hit them. And so, you, you know, there we are. We're hitting these golf balls. And they're just kind of, you know, because we've been drinking beer and eating pizza and, you know, watching March Madness on TV. and and these golf balls are going all over the place and nobody's hitting the green and, you know, and the balls, they don't, you know, they only stay lit for about five minutes. <laughs> Finally, a couple of balls get up on the green close to the pin. And so Butchie declares a winner and we all go and try to find our golf balls, which, you know, have all sputtered out by now. Uh, and then we all head back to the house and, and keep watching basketball. But that's my brother Butch. I mean, he does things to the nth degree. You know, he does things totally. It's just like a total family event, and I love going there. And, and so, you know, this sort of thing inspires me to do a painting. You know, I'm not much of a golfer. In fact, I always get the worst score uh, of all of them, but, but they let me play along with them because I don't hold them up too much. But so I get back home. I start thinking about golf, and, and you know, I'm sitting down in my sketchbook, and I, 
I start doing this painting or this drawing for a painting. And so here is my first stab at it. It's a five by seven inch pen and ink drawing in my sketchbook. And you know, it's golfers out on a golf course. Golf courses are really interesting places. They're kind of surreal landscapes. But I kept working with this idea and, and eventually got a composition that I liked. And so I, I drew, a, drew a pencil grid over the drawing so I could transfer it to a canvas. And you know, I began it as I usually do by toning the canvas a reddish brown with an ink drawing of the composition. And I start blocking in the colors, the greens and the blues. And, you know, I'm looking at this painting and I'm saying, there's just something missing here. It's not quite complete. You know, I'm a, I'm a surrealist painter. And that means I combine visual reality with sort of our subconscious perception of reality and blending them together to try to create a more complete truth. So here's this painting that I'm doing for my imagination, based on my uh, experience. I'm looking at it, you know, and at a certain point, the painting really does start to have to kind of like talk back to you and, and, and you know, encourage you to continue working on it. And, and this painting has just kind of gone dead. So I, I, I sat down uh, with my sketchbook and I just started drawing. You know, at first what I'm drawing is, you know, it, it doesn't have anything to do with the golf course, but you know it's an interesting drawing with the the bird's nest and the eggs and you know the houses behind it. And so I I did another drawing, and I like that one maybe even better. I did a drawing of the golf course picture with this bird's nest uh, and branches and a couple of birds, and I thought, oh, that's a lot better. This nature does intrude into the golf course. You know, the golf course is, is very artificial, it's sort of like this artificial landscape. It's kind of very surreal in that it's very manicured and kind of very unnatural at the same time that it's natural. But nature does intrude, you know, with sunlight and rain and wind and, and wildlife. You know, here we have wildlife intruding onto this sort of unnatural landscape of the golf course. And... And so I continued working with this idea, and there was still something not quite right about this. I mean, the, the composition, uh, the birds are flying down and out, and that just didn't seem right. So I go back to my sketchbook and work on it some more, and came up with this idea of the blue jay flying away from the, the, the nest, flying up and into the, the painting. And you can see over there on the left are you know, a couple of sketches for a, a different painting. So here on the lower left, this seemed like a good idea for the lower, or the lower right, this seemed like a good idea for the lower right side of my painting. Uh, but I had to figure out, you know, what about those golfers? You know, they, their poses are very difficult because it's an action pose, but you're looking down on it. And that's a difficult perspective. So I had to do some more drawings in my sketchbook uh, of those golfers and looking down on them, you know, get the gesture, the pose, just right. And so here is the finished painting. Saturday morning, oil on canvas, 42 by 26 inches. It's a surrealist painting. It's a blend of uh, the perceived and the subconscious. It's idealized, which is sort of like a golf course itself is sort of an idealization of nature. It's sort of a, a surreal landscape that's been put together for a certain purpose, uh, a gaming purpose, uh, you know, to, to a contest purpose. And, you know, here in the foreground, uh, the bird flying away from the nest, and those are eggs in that nest. And, you know, that nest was a challenge with all those little needles, those little sticks, and those leaves that are in front of it. You know, they, you know they're, they're very sort of like very real, but very unreal in that they're all sort of parallel to the picture plane. They're very symbolic at the same time that they're real. And then there on the left, uh, we see the golfers. The one golfer has just hit the ball. And then over next to him on the left is someone spotting the ball, you know, watching where it goes. Here in the middle ground, we can see the ball flying through the air. We can see those blue jays. A couple of golfers 
are a few golfers at the top of the, the image there. Uh, in this detail of the middle of the painting, uh, you can see the textures that I'm using. Uh, you know, the, the textures for the grass and uh, the textures for the leaves, uh, both on the right there, where I have to get more specific with the leaves, and then over there on the left, where, you know, there's sort of like these clumps. You know, and these textures are really important for creating sort of a tactile sense uh, for this image. And then there in the distance, you know, the golf, the houses lining the golf course, and there are those golfers playing, each on their fairway. We can see the golf carts, sky with the clouds. And you know, the interesting thing about golf is sort of on a symbolic Freudian level, it's very sexual. You know, here are these guys holding these stiff sticks in their hands and hitting these balls into these holes that are surrounded by these furry greens. And the first one who gets his ball in the hole is the winner. And so, you know, it's like, whoa, that's a very Freudian kind of game there. So I felt it was necessary to somehow you know, because it implies a female presence. And, you know, you go on a golf course on a Saturday, and it's mostly guys. And they're playing this game, which is sort of like symbolically very sexual and implies a female presence that isn't there. So I felt it was necessary to sort of add that female presence uh, in the house over on the left. If you look in the window, there's a woman, sort of a, a half-naked woman, watching the golfers starts to feel very primitive, like, oh, is she going to offer herself to the top dog, to the, the top golfer? Because, you know, golf is sort of like a, sort of like a combat, uh, you know, a, a contest, uh, a very interesting one, a lot of fun. And, you know, I, well, my brothers, like I said, they take me along with them. I am the worst golfer. I have the worst score, but I love playing along with them. And it's a great experience because these golf courses, they are so artificial. They're so surreal. But then, you know, they're all made up of nature. There's like nature reconfigured into these very surreal landscapes, which are, you know, very manicured, very contrived. And so here's the finished painting, Saturday morning, oil on canvas, 42 inches high by 26 inches wide. You know, I'm the artist, Leonard Kosiansky, and, you know, this is where I, this is my studio here. This is where I paint my pictures. But it's a, a surreal painting, and it's a combination of the real and the unreal, the imagined, uh, the observed, and uh, to, an attempt to create a more full truth than would be possible if I just painted the visual appearance of things alone. And here, you know, we have this combination of, you know, the golf course with this sort of implied sexuality, and then, you know, the bird's nest with you know, the result of sexuality, life about to burst forth. And we have this combination of, you know, nature, a contrived nature of the golf course, and then actual nature in the birds and the wildlife that populate these golf courses. Well, thank you very much for watching this video and listening to me tell you my story about my family's golf outings or our family a golf tournament and how uh, they inspired me to make this painting.